Today we have men's soccer head coach Steve Babineau. And coach, we want to talk about a, a special fundraising event that you and your team took part in um, nearly a week ago uh, when you hosted Anna Maria College here on campus. It was the Pancreatic Cancer Awareness event. Just kind of tell us about what that was, why you chose that event, and, and uh, to people that don't know. Yeah, every single year with, uh, with our team, we, we try to involve our team with community service. And uh, this year, um, we were able to kind of come up with this event. Um, it actually kind of hit home a little bit uh, for me, and the, and the guys kind of understood that uh, because of our tight-knit family. And um, a friend of our, our soccer family, Sheila White, was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. And um, I actually met her husband uh, at the University of uh, Maine at Prescott, where we attended and played college soccer together. So I got to know Jimmy um, from there, and we've been very close since then. And obviously, he was with Sheila at the time. And, and of course, um, you know, we're close with her. So um, I heard about the diagnosis probably, you know, a month or two ago. And, and I got to thinking, you know, what, what can we do for the family? Um, I know um, our personal, you know, friends and, and college friends are, are helping them out too. But, but what can we do uh, as a team and a family here to help out? And so I presented to the group about doing a fundraiser and, and selling T-shirts and taking the profits to, um, and giving that uh, to the family to help with with medical expenses and um, as soon as we, we presented it, the guys were all for it. Um, they know that this stuff comes on an individual basis and uh, they just kind of you know embraced it and, and they did a really good job with it. I talk about the fundraising you mentioned that what was what were some of the fundraisers that you held for this? Yeah we did a, a t-shirt that I'm, wearing, that I'm wearing now. Uh, Bob the screen printer actually uh, put this design together did a fantastic job. Um, the, the guys were, were, were asked and, and told that they needed to sell a minimum of 24 shirts. Um, I think everybody reached that goal. I think we had uh, one older man, uh, Kyle Shangra, sell 64 t-shirts. But um, and, and we were able to kind of pay for the, the invoice of the t-shirts and then uh, take the profit that we would normally go ahead and, and, and use here for our team. The guys agreed to go ahead and give that lump sum uh, to the family. So that was uh, the main fundraiser we did uh, with the team, and, and the guys did a great job. And you mentioned you know, the proceeds go to the family, um, and uh, talk about that process a little bit. It's a little bit different. Like you said, it's usually fundraised for your team, but this time it's going towards a great cause. Yeah, I think we, I think we um, raised close to $4,000 for the family, which is um, fantastic. And you know, to, to be able to, to present that check to them and you know, help them in any way possible, you know, obviously it's for medical expenses, but... I think at some at some point that uh, they they need to use that for their family. They have two young young boys that uh, are going to need things as well through this tough time, and um, we always wish that it's more. Uh, but you know um, that was something that the the guys wanted to do after I presented it to them, and our captains were happy to present that uh, check during uh, just before kickoff on, on the game. That's a, that's absolutely terrific. Um, now you mentioned your guys a lot, and they, they were all for it. Um, what were some life lessons maybe that you've heard the guys talk about after being around this and, and understanding what they're fundraising for? Well, I think the, the major life lesson is uh, there's a lot more things going on in the world than, than just soccer. I think sometimes we get so wrapped up in you know, trying to achieve our ultimate goal of, of reaching a GNAC championship and, and winning it, and we talk about things that we need to do to be successful to hopefully obtain and reach those goals. And you know, at the end of the day, it is just a soccer game. And, and someone's been affected. I, I think we could probably go through almost every individual, and in some way or another, someone's been affected by, you know, cancer and, and other things. And there are more important things in, in life that we just need to stop and and take a second and, and try to help others in need. I mean, I think our guys understand how lucky they are to to be students at St. Joseph's College, but also student athletes. And we we preach about that every day. And you know, I think that they can embrace that and. They're always willing to help each other on the field, but off the field, they're willing to reach out in the, in the community. And I, I think that that's the major lesson that they've taken from this. Now, I understand that uh, Sheila's husband, Jim, spoke to the team. Can you kind of give us some details about what was... Yeah, he, he asked to, to talk to the group. One, to just say thank you, because, you know, I don't feel like they could... They felt like they couldn't say thank you enough. They're very appreciative of it. Um, but, but more importantly... He communicated to them that it wasn't necessarily about the money. It was about, you know, the brotherhood of, 
of how Jimmy and I connected and how we've been friends ever since and, and the support that he has as for me and, and our other friends like former assistant coach Sean Bretton, Danny Allen, Jamie McFeeders, Steph and, and Jamie Brewer, Matt and uh, Kelly Townsend. Um, those core group of our friends from college, he communicated that that's the most important thing right now in a time of need where you've got love and support around you. And I, I think the guys really understood that and, and that's why, again, they, they were happy to just rally around kind of, kind of me in, in, in this event that we, we put together for them. Great. Now, Coach, I understand you want to thank some people. I'll give you an opportunity to do that. Yeah, I mean, I want to thank, um, obviously, you, Corey, for, for promoting this on the website. It was um, well done, and, and I think the day of the event, your student workers did a, a fantastic job. Brian Curtin, of course, our athletic director. Uh, the, the family for, for accepting this, because sometimes putting that uh, in the public eye and uh, could be, you know, could be difficult for that family. They're willing to accept it. Um, all those I just mentioned, and, and of course, my wife was a, was a big supporter of this as well. All right, Coach. Well, thanks a lot. I know it was a tremendous cause and a great event on Saturday. And also, the Monks got a win, so that was also a positive on the day. So yes. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thanks, Corey.